this video is for the faculty of technology people who have participated in the counseling cs asb tech counseling and allotments have also started now if you are following the updates or even my channel you will get to know about the cutoffs for round one right for computer science and engineering the cutoff was 2410 for unreserved category I do also have the I also have the cutoff for OBC category but not the other categories as of now. EC went till about seven thousand and double E I think it went till twenty three thousand right. So very high cutoffs and lot of differences between this year and last year. Now there are some people on Reddit and also on YouTube who say that they are from Faculty of Technology. I'm sure they will be from faculty of technology and they really despise the institution as a whole and say all types of bad things right maybe that has been their experience i don't know right but the point is i have also personally interacted with a couple of fot students and i also have friends who interact with their friends who are also fot students some of them live together in the same place as well and their feedback has been different so the point is do not blindly believe any one side of the story okay there is something called confirmation bias again you believe what you want to believe right if you want to portray a particular college to be good you will only look for the good reviews and you will try to justify the bad reviews somehow right it's about confirmation bias as well in this case so the suggestion absolutely will would be you know until 2025 you all would be studying in Maharshi Kannad Bhavan until your own building gets uh, ready in 2025 right those of you got an allotment you will be coming to Delhi so if you are coming to Delhi for the uh, uh, what does it say document verification and all of that visit around the campus visit around faculty of science see how the environment is check out the different departments how they look the gardens the department of physics and astrophysics department of anthropology maybe they are locked they won't let you get inside but still see how the atmosphere is if they allow it also try to see faculty of arts walk around the place and see how it is it is just opposite to faculty of science you know so visit and explore the place if some professors and all are there visit them talk to them look at the classrooms and everything how they are where you are going to study if you finally confirm that yes i'm going to stay here for the next four years right maybe also five years i don't know whether they will introduce an option to convert it to an mtech later or not I doubt CIC will ever do it, but it won't be a bad thing if they do it. Absolutely. Okay, that was my grandmother calling me for dinner, basically. Wait, why am I so dark? Now the lighting is better, isn't it? Oh, it's fluctuating. Okay, so that's my point. Since you are coming to Delhi for the document verification, visit around the campus explore the place yourself before you take a decision and as i mentioned regarding uh, so these are these negative comments on youtube and reddit as well if i get enough comments on my comment section i will conduct an online interview or a webinar type thing with those students who think that fot is actually a good place and will post it on my channel if I get enough comments so if you want something like that what you need to do is find out other people who are also going to join FOT this time and make all of them comment on my channel basically by sharing my video with them and trying to see people who also come for document verification to Delhi on the same day as you also talk with them they are going to be your future classmates right so this is all I had to say to you Apart from that, those who say like DU has no history of engineering, completely false. I'm not even talking about Dinesh Singh's Cluster Innovation Center. Today, what we call DTU and NSUT. Earlier, they were called Delhi College of Engineering and 
Netaji Subhash Institute of Technology before, okay, before they became universities. And NSIT was earlier called DIT, Delhi Institute of Technology. They were colleges affiliated to the University of Delhi. So basically they were under Delhi University and the alumni network, the brand value which they get that comes majorly from those alumni who have the University of Delhi tag written on their certificates. And even today when like at least initially this is what happened and it still happens. Suppose an NSUT graduate goes somewhere with his degree. NSUT became NSUT in 2018. The industry people, they will see Acha NSUT, which was earlier NSIT under DU. Acha, he's from there. Ah, it's a good college. So this is how it works, basically. DU does have a lot of experience in technical field as well. And those who say DU does not have placements, just check the industry-oriented courses. Check the Faculty of Mathematical Sciences. Check the Faculty of Management Sciences. Check what's, what are the placement stats. More than the colleges, check for the departments and faculties and schools and centers which offer placement. Okay? Not talking about the research centers because I'm not sure whether they offer placements or not. For CIC, we have already talked about it. People get placed through on uh, off-campus routes and pre-placement offers until CIC gets a placement cell, if ever. FOT already has a placement cell. So good news for you guys. And it also has MOUs with foreign universities. Right? I'll also cover that if I remember. Okay. That's it for this video. And definitely best wishes for anyone who wishes to come to FOT or any Delhi University College. DU welcomes you all. Right? So thanks for watching and God bless you all.